Okay. So. Hello guys and welcome to another stream and another video on my YouTube channel. This is episode 1 of Red Dead Redemption 2. I haven't played the first game. So fuck it. I don't know if that you, know, you have to play the first game to play the second. I don't know. But so last night or last or not last night but I did a stream of you to see how it is with some settings and hopefully I have it decently dialed in so this will be like a test but no, it won't be too laggy hopefully I just have to remember uh, deactivating my preview window do like that help. but yes uh, never played this game before uh, the sound I have no idea how high it is or not high it is but hopefully it's not too loud. Yeah. Move away my controller a little bit. <sighs> okay, let's go. Let's get into this. I forgot about that. I actually could use your own uh, online session and play, but. Um, story. Let's start with the story. I have no idea if my cam is actually gonna be interrupting something now. Not. But let's pour out some something to drink because it's always nice to drink something on a Friday. I mean, I would like to do it almost every fucking. Dana. Uh, but uh, I'll start with some Pepsi Max. When I did my test stream, I also tested like Forza, and I can't stream Forza without problem because it is raining. I don't know if you will hear the rain. Maybe when I'm talking. Oh yeah. <laughs> There might be f thunder. Um, yeah. Even when it has mostly been tamed, I don't know if I should have been reading this. <laughs> A few gangs still roam, but they. I can't read cursive. I would need subtitles for the curse. I'm never good at cursive, cursive writing. Write up religion 2. Let's go. Yes. The settings I'm playing on is high. Ultra, ultra in textures and that, or something like that, but then resist high and yeah. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay, Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There! Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on! Come on! Yeah! I never watched the uh, like the game like I watched a little bit like I never watched a story about of this game. Is it a little bit plain like people testing like or something like that? The Colter chapter one is Colter. Ready. 
Bring him in here. And I'm gonna say this now. I have my screen on the brightest settings in this game. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here. And you were gonna get yourself warm. Now I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. This, just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen, listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now we've had well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it gladly. But. We are gonna ride out, and we are gonna find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet, so. They both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Uh, oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. We need you strong. Okay. Okay, now we gameplay. Come on, let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Pull the elder right faster. Bridge coming up. Take it easy. So, when it comes to like all of this stuff, you know, it, the bit rate is, is it is what it is. I don't know. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got a fire and shelter. That's a start. Indeed. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? Whoa. You up ahead. Who's there? Who's up there? Oh. Micah. 
Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. Ah. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. Where are we going? You run into anybody else? I, I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well... Don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, it's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad. Don't recognize the voice. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. There ain't much, shelter. So, this house. You speak to the people there already? No. Okay. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Stop and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Oh. Okay. Let's head down there. But the lantern's low. Why well, you, you you have lantern? I have to display it to the lower left. Okay, it's over the minimap. The out the bar shows your remaining health, the level of inner core. How can you get it quickly? Okay. Okay. Horsey, horsey, horsey. Someone's having fun in there. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. I could get down behind that wagon in front. What shed? Do you talk about that shed? Arthur, what are you doing? I said get out of sight. Not there. Over in the cattle shed. The word she I hate Arthur, some. Get it. Is it better? Sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, need some. There's a body food in the wagon. I hear you just. Gentlemen. Keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go, buddy. 
Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please. I am kind of desperate. Hey, I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here. It's goddamn. Fuck you. Maybe same reason as us. Barthur, go bring the horses closer to the house. Barthur, let's go search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Time on a photograph. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too, at some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Hmm. Flip. O'Driscoll's. I don't believe it. Lake it's a strange one, all right. JD. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. I pr press F12 two times. is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us. And fruit. Let's go. I'm gonna take everything. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Meet me out here when you're done. It's so dark. And trust me when I say this. Uh, is it in graphics? Maybe don't. Trust me when I say this. Oh yeah, four four setups. Oh, for away there. Um. When I say, where do we have? I could put the tree quality down to high just to see. But for now, we keep this how it is. Uh, maybe you can't do yeah, yeah brightness calibration. Um. Maybe that maybe that's a little bit brighter. Those the cabinet. I did max it before like doing settings and stuff, so I don't know if it resets itself or something like that, I don't know. I don't know if I drop down like maybe the trees to ultra down there. 
it will get easier or run smoother. Like, for me, it's really smooth. Like, I don't know. Uh, have I covered everything? Drawer, fake, horse card, prima cigarette, inspect card. Okay. Go to the drawer. <clears throat> Even though the person, the people that, that lives here is dead. Can I? Yeah, there, there we go. Search What's chest. So long in there? Still looking, Dutch. You know, still looking. I'm taking my sweet ass time. You know. I think I'm Yeah, I've been over there. Yeah, I don't need to be here. I We are it. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. to rob some train gonna blow I don't have to beat him I don't know more than that I swear <laughs> well I would say it looks like you have this Arthur do what you want with him I don't care but bring that horse when you're done oh I don't know anything else <laughs> are you sure you don't know anything else sure <laughs> I just had to get a couple of budget days. Come on, fun. Boy. 
Taking this. Oh, I was gonna spare his life. I didn't know, like, punching him like that. Like, okay, to be. Okay, now he might be dead. The, the horse he might have, you know, trampled his head down. But he was like, like, yes, like he was knocked out. Wasn't dead. Over where? Over here? Obviously, because some idiot come with us. fucking us. decided to burn that beautiful house down. Yes. Stupid it's bitch. Okay. Should we say him? We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. 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 Sadie Adler. Mrs. I, he. He was my husband. Okay, to be fair, it hasn't burned that long. Come on, it doesn't fall that quick in a little bit of fire. That's it takes a while for it to fall down. Come on, man. No need for it to be unrealistic. Hey! Somebody's coming. Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Combe O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Well, this is deserved, bitch. You burned out the house. I don't know if they like, or like some gasoline or something. I don't know what on. Some type of oil or something on there, because damn, that house was burning on quicker than a something. What the fuck do I throw with axes? I don't days. know. What Weather ain't let up. Mm. He's strong, and he's smart. Strong at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, 
He may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he looked for me. Thank you. <sighs> <sighs> Fine. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. I'll turn up the volume a slight bit, but I don't know. I need, I need to look at the gunshots. Use the volume of that. Hey, I see some smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. That way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Mm -hmm. Let's just see where they lead. Yep. So. You were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. And suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't a kill, bro. That's the first person. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. First person in my. Hello, Nate. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. We first person. Just Looking on. at the force bombs. Bad business, all right. Eso. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Where the fuck are we going? Oh, we're going up here. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Or, like, why would you climb up? Like, I don't think this is uh, that person. If it is, why the fuck would you climb up a mountain? In a snowstorm. Yeah, that's, uh... Let's see if he can hear us. Come 
He's coming from up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. Plumbing! Who knows what's up ahead? It's yawn. I know, like, it's uh. The shotgun. Oh, fuck it then. Let's keep moving. Yeah, I walk in your footsteps, so I get it easier. Okay. Walking behind you, mate. Careful here. It sounds like he did come from up and not down. Be honest. You're telling me. Be honest, though. Careful. There's a drop here. Watch out here. Yeah, if I fall, I fall on you. Stay low under and you here. will be my cautioning, you know. You will be my cushioning. It's gonna be okay. Okay. I fall, fall on you. You know that's all. All good and dandy, you know. Real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up here. Come on. Gap here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John! I the fuck it got all the way over here? I need to eat more, I guess. How you doing? I'm miserable. It's been a tough few days. I know. Here. Take a drink of this. Thanks. I'm not designed for this snow. Let's keep moving then. Come on. John, can you... Hear me! That said it, we're gonna reach in my energy. John, Look, looked at it. I'm gonna buy whiskey food now. Give it a fat bro. All right. Hot down, Marston. That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. <laughs> Freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Uh, you all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Oof. Hopefully. Oh, there's a wolf. Look up there. Perfect. 
That's food if I see it in anything. I'll distract them while you get to the horse. Go! Draw them off. Alright, John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. I tried to aim, I tried to shoot him before, but I didn't want to shoot it. Well done, well done. I almost got fucking killed because of the game didn't want to let me shoot. Uh, I didn't have fucking baked beans. Oh yeah. Fucking yeah. been fine if it allowed me to shoot before but it didn't allow me to shoot for some reason up there four of them They are not here. They're gone. Can we get some help? We need hey. some help here. Come on, help him down. You're oh, they're there. You're alive. Come on, here we go. There we go. Ah, you careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. you. Got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. If you and Dutch talk about how we're gonna get out of this, I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I uh, suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East into all that that civilization. I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. <laughs> <sighs> Hmm. Interesting. We've been running. Here's a scratch. 
We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait to thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Wish you could be it. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit. When we go back to Blackwater, when we get our money, or we get some more... Miracle tonic, huh? Keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. No. Why is it R and then like why is it like R to open then E to take it instead of like R E like R to open and E to close. Damn best step of Jeremy. Let's go outside. Hey, is this, is this like a save point or something like that? I don't know. Maybe there's a best show me that that's my place. In a regular, thank you for the follow me. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's go out and uh, talk to. Mill, Bill, and Kling, and Clang, and Clang, and Dang, and Brang. Help with you, boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come Under. find us? All Under. of you, we got work to do. Come on. You sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como O'Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. I'm gonna be popping some heads. Hey, we're talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train. Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! 
We're going to kill some people. We're gonna pop them head with lead. Fill their head with lead. Fill their head with some lead. I'm I'm a I'm a long range man. He gave me a gun. Tracks, horses, quite a few of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. And we're on. Good, Dutch. Of course. Listen, I know you don't think. Oh. I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Hold up here. Whoa! Whoa! All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn... Ready. Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mm hmm Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. What's another dude behind that dude? Let's go. What are you doing? Let's go on foot from here. I wanted to ride a little bit more. Binoculars. There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Guy on the up there. Two of them are running away. So we've got a guy up there on the roof. Do we have something else? We have a guy over there standing on the doors. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. Guy over there. No. Guy standing over there. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Yeah. Has to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Can I take the gun and like... Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. Yeah, no. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. You got it, Dutch. Let's 
Okay, I used to take the same path down as Bill and Mike. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just what the show you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including Colm, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there. Okay, I need to uh, the sense. Haven't thought about that to be honest. Controls. The mouse. Uh, there we go. Better to deal with as it is. Now come on. Better. I'm very stable with my hand. If you see how stable I am when I'm first person, look at the movement, but if you're first person you don't have this much movement. I don't wanna pop this dude's head right now. Man. Perfect shot on this dude. Pop it right here. Dead. Brain splatter all over the building. Oh, watch out. It's a bit steep. Even better right now, I could just pop his head right now. What would happen if I do? But I won't. Even though I really want to just pop that dude said right there. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. I'm trees quick. Kind of bad that I wasn't up there. Cause if I was up there, you know, it would be easier, you know. Come on, follow me. Okay, let's get in cover. <laughs> Ready for this job to be done. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. So we got everything we need. Make the call, Arthur. Okay, I'll go first.
nice. I think that's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. You recognize any of them, Dutch? Of course not. Paul doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun, ride a horse, and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Colm doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Heads up, boys! We got more coming in from the forest! Um... Did my game just bug it? Um... Uh... Um, yeah, I have no idea what to do. I go into auto mode with it. Something happened. I looted and my sc my game is black. But the minimap is... Oh my god. Auto mode actually saved me. I have no idea where they are. I don't know they were they couldn't do anything. I could I couldn't do anything. I was blacked out. I was blacked oh, out. Look out! More of the bastards coming out of the trees. See how easy it is when you actually can, you know, do what you what you need to do, you know. <laughs> Not be blacked out, you know. I'm gonna loot every single body that I see. Okay. Every single body is getting loot. Stupid not to loot them all. I'm rich out of this looting, you know. I guess where did I kill like a bunch of murder? Here we go.
Loot there. I don't know what the whole tab to open wheel is there because I did things without the game liking me doing it. You know. There's a bit more dead people over here. Coming on. I wonder where my hat is. Where did I lose my hat, hat first? We're waiting on you, Arthur. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right. Ooh. What do we got here? Perfect. Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks mm. fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss? Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh yeah, interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. Oh, I haven't oh, looted all the bodies God. yet. Proud of you boys. And... I was gonna become a millionaire in this era, which is um, a thousand year, I think, is, is a really rich person. Or a hundred there, maybe. Maybe a hundred dollar is a lot here as well. So maybe a hundred there. Charles and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get calm, but this hit will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course indeed. he will. Just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before mm -hmm. they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Indeed, sir. I will pop the head before they do anything. Pop their head right. and fill the brain with lead. Let's make some ground. I'm not aggressive at all. Promise. You don't like me running ahead, huh? You don't like it? Bro, my horse is faster. You see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Colm? Leave him to me. Alright, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. Ha! Um Yeah. 
have to kill his horse though. A silver horse, but no idea. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna lie. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Mm-hmm. But a punch or something? You put me killing your horse in front of you or something? I ain't, I ain't oh, gonna stop that. Him. And? You know what stop me? You won't. I'm begging you! You better mm -hmm. shut your mouth, you little shitter. I will shut it for you. Mm-hmm, I will. Mean, I will stop this horse and slap your face so hard. You cry. Your mom is... Man, I'm out for a lot. I don't know what the fuck with that, but I don't know. With them a couple of months. Just and? let me go, please. They don't tell me nothing. I swear. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. I don't see the camels. Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. <clears throat> we get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting. Save fellas. Is need saving and feed him. Is need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it. An O'Driscoll in my camp. No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister. I, I hate that fella. Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Bill. Hi. An another cold day ahead. Can you stop the talking with a bitch? You want me to put the bullet for your fucking head? Bitch. Give me a horsey. How can I see how much cash I got? Look at the satchel, I can see. Oh, I got $11.21. Damn, hey, only, only eighty-nine dollars left to become a hundred there. I had a boy. <coughs> We're 
going to starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. Mm -hmm. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. Mm -hmm. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need some need out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? I tried to skip this like a video, but like, okay, next next movie, okay, I'm gonna skip this is a little bit more. Uh. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. Yeah, that's true. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right. Oh yeah, come on. Let's head out. I have nothing against you yet. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill? We're in with this worse. Huh. All control of the town and when the session has performed this move. Mason doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. Mm hmm. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Do it. Been a wild few days, alright. That right north from Blackwater. Getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the O'Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. You can now sort of see why the um, like would the horses scare them away as well? Even I know like animals like except other animals better. Or I also don't like animals I don't know. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I wanna play the hunter. I used to hunt animals. Kill them, kill the bears, kill the things, kill whatever. There's some patches of grass here. This is good. Let's look we down just this way. Run over that horse. Wait, we just did that, right? I was a dead horse we run on. Too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Or stay quiet, hey, Zed. Stop here a second. I see something. There's 
deer been here recently? How can you tell? It's a like good look of snow. I ain't gonna lie. Let's walk. For most part, you know, it's pretty good. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare huh? everything around. Stay low and move slowly. So, if I've learned, you should aim for the heart, but like not the head. You want to end it quickly, so you should like. I don't know, and, like, and, and if it's a deer, you need to aim it like a little bit below the neck and like almost in the middle. If I remember correct from that game, if that's correctly too. And. I don't know what about selecting a call. Over there. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay. Right. You pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. White tail. No, it's a white tail. Hey. This is not gonna be you someday. Okay. Don't worry.
Crawl cabin in repeat from horse tab. Oh, okay. Animal cookers can be dropped here, off to Pierce's at the division type gang supply. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. Yeah, it's easier when they ain't shooting back. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, yeah. You're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? Still Is the horse that's gonna be laying down dead there? This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Yeah, because I wonder, is that the horse that I... I think it is. I think that released the horse I actually did kill. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater. We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Oh, watch it. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, <laughs> she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. Mm -hmm. What is it with your Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big game. Nasty sons of bitches. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. He must be real hungry. Stay well back. Well, he's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Do you got a lot of meat on you know it's a beer and like uh, I did draw this gun for a reason. Cut up here off the trail. If it ain't people, there's Hosan. Six months, something mm -hmm. like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this? Blackwater mess. Being up here. Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just. I know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. 
You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. Or never. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. <laughs> I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's mm -hmm. been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Easy. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys! Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Oh, and, uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Mm-hmm. Well, well, well. <clears throat> Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, mm. it isn't. Now, shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Go get to skin you. <coughs> <laughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? <laughs> Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin Let's that do. one, and you dumped on the floor there. This might be graphical for some people. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else... <clears throat> You bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. <coughs> yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> <coughs> It looked the most hunter shall we? Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans and mm -hmm. Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. 
I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look, Asher. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He see me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train right, let's to go. rob. All right, we're moving out. Oh, we're robbing. One of three just skin. Why is it there? You can go hunting in this. Interesting. What would you get if you if I do hunt the bear? But I will need a gun to take down a bear. Because it looks really good, even though I'm not having max settings. Hopefully, it's not looking too bad on stream, you know. Uncertain, no. I might try to do like dual stream setup using the NDI, and use my other PC for the stream part and. If that would work fine. Out of the snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But mm -hmm. we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell. Charles Smith. Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. Okay, now, it, picks it, now it might be mistakes. getting pixelated because of all the grass and stuff. Greeneries. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? 
That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Is Bill there? Yeah. yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Could walk, but it's faster to. How you getting off? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. All right, Captain. Even though you're not the captain. Says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. <clears throat> Train should be here any minute now. <clears throat> that includes you, Arthur? Well. on our heads I don't know how to do it what do you want me to do I press tab there's nothing here I have something here in the bag maybe well, it didn't tell me to do that did not tell me to do that okay that's not my fault Gentlemen, it's time Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Here we go. Ah. Shit! No! What? God! Oh, you have got to be kidding me! Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. So it's my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh. Let's go slow this thing down. Where's Javier? He fell. The other 
Bye bye. I'm going up. We have to stop this train. It's a good looking train, though. Okay, oh, yeah, that's nice. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five. opening this door. Four, three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. 
Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Take it easy, horses, okay? You will be fine. Search that train. Trying. I'll try to go up there, but it doesn't want me. She's crazy. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll oh, search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. What's your name? You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing it. Was we'll receive a payment tank. of two thousand for the initial phase of exploration to wrap it in the inner reservation. Blah 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 blah. blah. Proceed to found. Come on. Come on. Get in there. We'll combine it to there. See, that's how it's done. Shit, just a pile of papers. Bond? I don't think so. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contracts. Thank you for the from blah blah. Voices, blah blah blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? Yeah. Now, this looks like something. How's it looking in there? Bonding. Got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> I'm not searching. Okay, that's a snoop. Why is more? Ooh, twenty-five dollar Reno's. I almost missed money because of you guys. I don't want me to take no times. Okay, I, I, no. It looked like a fucking don. I come out with a don, you piece of shit. Doing what I'm doing. Stop me looting this entire place, huh? Give me all this fine brandy. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Huh. Let's. Okay. Get on the train. Quick. All of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. All right. Move. Tell a soul, I swear. Said quick.
The Hamida is setting up. You were alive? I was looking. I wasn't going in here before, so he's looking. Looting bodies. Man, I'm rich. I got $25 Renos. Damn, I got so much money now. I bought a $25. You know, that's fucking cash. It ain't, you know? I'm rich. Better to loot everything. Did but not to. Of here. How about we just drop you off? There you go. You boys have a great ride. Bye bye. What is with me and my fucking accent? I have no idea. So easy. For me, I don't know, my, my fucking head is switch off, switching out. Nothing. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Okay, 
Let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? <laughs> well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. Nearly there. <laughs> See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well... Get in. I'll tell you. <laughs> Natives, American. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yep. This is too slow. So? Yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stolen cut. Away from them it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Mm-hmm. So, it is a good looking what game. What happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers got no hot this shown there by the flash and sun icon. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Mm -hmm. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But Valentine this way. Telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Mm -hmm. Things go wrong sometimes. You 
people die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Open up the back easy. F1 for details. Trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Chilling, like I'm not stressing with this game, you know. What, what stress, you know? Oh, that could really break something. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. You weren't wrong, Jose. This place Here we is are. perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. Mm -hmm. But now, now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. Mm -hmm. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools I guess down I'm for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone 
to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Chapter 2. Oh wait, so that's chapter one. And this is chapter two. So chapter one took me two hours. It's too early to end it, like it's too early. The mountain. Yeah, fuck I'm gonna Middle keep on going. Some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Hi there. Jose. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's He'd bring the rest of the of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> hey. We'll have a camera. Animals, gangs, stuff and stuff. Mission complete is word bound. Oh, Arthur, my boy, my dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're f free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so. Oh, we're in a free huh? You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Mm-hmm. I ain't losing it now. Hmm. Let's sit down for a bit. Ah, it's enjoying. Isn't there just missions and stuff you do here? 
morning, Arthur. What do you think of this place, Susan? An improvement on the last, that's for sure. Well, that ain't too hard. Indeed it is. So is that my like good or bad like where I'm heading? You get some kick ends. Bring person animal supply. I'm happy I can look. Okay, so those are things. That's that's Lutnik Station. That is Valentine. So I guess we start out with a mission with Uncle then, I guess. Hey! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Eventually. So. While the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. <sighs> you mm -hmm. gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment to civilization. <laughs> ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. I said, I'm not in a hurry. Not in a hurry at all. We gotta have to think about the horses. They are like the first. That's a song. Somebody over there. Look at that Koji. He's all over the place. Is one of you going to get that fella's horse? Well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. See what's going on. Lumbago, really? 
You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, I guess. It's the white one over there. I don't know. We might be banned as a thieves, you know. We might kill a thing, you know, people that. Yeah, Why not help a little man, you know? He's struggling on his way, you know. He's gonna place it right here. We're gonna wait for the train to come by and we will have some horse meat to launch. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Here. Here you go. You heard gentlemen. Exit in the world room affect your honor level and change nah, how people in the world really. interact with you. Just Plus, positive action will make you more honorable. <laughs> well, yeah. Anyway, thank you. Mm, 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 mm. Let's go. Let's continue our uh, journey. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother, there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart, a small one perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here. I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, was there is a train coming. Excuse me. Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. A church. A little bit faster we can go. Come on. Dog. Uh, a saloon. Left here, down the main street. Dare's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Mm -hmm. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there. Oh, well. Here we are, just 
just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> Try and help people. I, d I do all I can manage. Are we going to the store then? Huh? Use your <coughs> use Arthur, your strength. Come on. To help the weak. How about you, sir? Sir, are you joining me or not? I tried to make a donation. Fucking hell. Okay. I'm not gonna ask why. <sighs> I wanted to give up way one man, Arthur Morgan. Dollar, you know? But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? Why don't you pick out a cigar? A cigar, a cigar. focuses the mind, I find. What are you saying? Well, you seem a little scattered, Arthur. Trust old uncle. Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Mm, looks. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Good corner. What is that? Sort of biscuits. Salmon is pretty good. Brown coffee. So, what are you? You're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? What is this? Lamb here. Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Better to bait. Her real base. A jaw heart. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god awful cover scent lotion. All done. Thank you kindly. Cover scent lotion could be good actually to buy. This should do the trick. Yep. That's fine with That you do it. Gone on is pr probably something you need. All the best, fellers. Plug a watch. Don't I get a plug a watch? Right. What to have that is worth money. Okay, it's something like that, okay. Okay, mate. 
Find out about the cutest steel, even if I wanted to. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. <clears throat> This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. You huh? can go get the damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. I've been looking too long. I got to get your hands off her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey, hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. They're really nice letting you know where people are. Though. Like, they want you to go up there and mm, rob and kill people. No trouble now, please. Eh, no trouble. I'm just looking on her. 2B, let's see, we have 2A, and I'm gonna have 2B over here. Okay. Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just me and. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank. Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. Okay. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, 
Buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Go, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Just following it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. That's far enough. Mr. Please, I'm sorry. We need to talk, pal. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. Mm. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. Please. Ah, he might know stuff, so you know. All right, come on. Might know something, you know. Might have some money. And I was throwing off the edge later if I could eat like okay, it. Partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Mm hmm. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh. Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? Mm hmm? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Mm hmm. Of course we do. I got a pen. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. Mm -hmm. I haven't. I haven't. Not not one lick. Not one cent in this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yep. Yep. Friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Oh, hello again. Never too soon, huh? Thanks for your assistance. Pleased to meet you. Why well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Why well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say. You got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, 
Regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch easy. him? Huh? Oh, and we have our answer. <laughs> Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. Well. well. I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Hmm. Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Yeah, no. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always... A pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! 
Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Mm -hmm. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, mm -hmm. take Javier. Arthur, okay. go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? <laughs> well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Mm. Okay, mission complete. I'm making a rest. So I don't know how you save, but I know after like you know, multiple missions are available in camp. These are shown us on the radar. I don't know if the other ones have gone home or what about question mark over here. So let's go and look at the question mark. You know. Lives in the case optional strategy mission. Speak to the stranger in the area to begin in the strand. Somebody in the saloon, huh? Should have stopped four shots ago. Come on, sir. Try to remember. What really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in 76? Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Done and dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pigs' penises. They're curly, like their tails. <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <sighs> this is your friend there. Well. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. And how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. Mm -hmm. This book, I've got to make a thing of it. And, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. Okay. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. All right, let's do this. Um, read.
Granda married six times, the six animal, Grandus Robert, Atlas, everyone, every divorce, dresses in her widow's weeds, so that love the rubber and roads, private contact. Last about the sighting, North Blue Water Marsh, do not approach to the nearest for more biographer. Okay. Black bells, let us know which marks on the map. Fees on Phenomen is like 50 hours away. Black. You know she's a far away. You now that's gonna be some other time. But can I call my horse? Apparently the other people left me, you know. I'm here all alone. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a bomber to horse increase the range of which it can be called. What the hell you doing? I'm running. Air bigger, 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 bigger. This is the bar I just got. I parked it right here. Work, work, work. A little whiskey in between. The world ain't gonna change now. Is They have to can it can is there any the time uh, anything else fast travel in this game? Cause we're up to our three hour mark here. We out of the snow, we out here and uh waltzing through here like you own the place. But the O'Driscoll's got designs on it. I've only got to click my fingers and this town will string you up and call it justice. You looking to prove oh, something shit. here? Don't mind me, I'm leaving. There's something, and I will. We'll be sure to keep a bullet warm for you. Just listen out for the accents. What do you say now? I you'd look nicer with your face caved in. Come on, let's go. All right, let's get to it. Oh, no, no, no. That was dainty. You will be answering to the law if this carries on. The O'Driscolls hope you know how to... Can anybody hear me? Help! Hello, here for a ticket to the show? Which show is it today? Still got some tickets left here. The bear. Mm-hmm. Sure, let's uh, look at this thing. Tickets for one, please. 
right there. Just head inside the tent. Am I supposed to be scared about this? Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream, and old man Wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land, and gorge yourself on fish and meat, and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for sixty. Go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them, but he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man Wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle, and he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a-calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends. <laughs> the turtle said, if Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the Coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy Possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two Shoes does what mm -hmm. he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what Old Man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Oh. snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened, frozen and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders okay. and do just what you're told. Long. Bro, what the fuck is that? <laughs> uh. Good day, I don't know. Oh, what the fuck I just watched. Tell me about it. I'll put you here with nobody will find you. He will be rotting down. I don't this boot right there, no. You're drunk, young pal. Stay drunk. Yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a, no, it's, 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 uh, it's a way there. It is a way over here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. <sighs> Where I point it, you know? And I guess I'll start walking. I could steal a horse. You know, way to go, but you know, you have lost your hat, it can be a retreat from your horse or wardrobe. That's yeah, fine, you know. I don't think you should just be wandering around here, friend. No? Not a thing happens around here without an Adrisco saying so. Understand me? Consider this a warning.
You're lucky there's a person over there, okay? Get lost. That's it. Off your trot. We'll be sure to keep a bullet warm for you. Just look out for the accents. There you go. You don't talk shit about me. Hmm, reason I'm running back, you know, they were talking shit, you know, for Driscoll's. You don't talk shit about me without getting beaten, you know. He said he has a bullet one for me. I had one for him as well, and the other one. I didn't even react. Standing in like a twat head. Place to walk. There you are. Hello, buddy. How you doing? Long time, boy. I need you to walk me home. Are you walking alone? Even though I was right there. Just stay there. Hello, Arthur. How you keeping? Well, girls ain't happy. Let me tell you that for nothing. Not happy at all. <laughs> Don't know why. Well, that's not true. I do know why. They're not sleep. This is seven hours and then we end here for today and I would like to look forward to next week, next Friday. Shave. But yeah. 
thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch at TV Slightly Show Production. The link is down below in the description. Indeed, it is. And uh, yeah, you can catch me now on a stream, other games, or this game on. I stream this on Fridays around three, uh, 3 p.m. CET Central European time. Summertime. So it's technically C E S T, but yeah. It's, it's a nice game. I enjoy it so far. And so far, I actually enjoy it. And it's nice. I don't know how you save an XGM, so hopefully. Uh, I just quit the desktop right there. And, uh. Hopefully it will be where it will be when I start, but thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Bye bye.